Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make a pom-pom to decorate a bookmark. The supplies for this craft are pretty simple. You just need a piece of cardstock to use as a bookmark, a pair of scissors, and some yarn. To get started, you're gonna take a piece of yarn and wrap it around four of your fingers. Um, and you're just gonna keep doing that until you've wrapped it at least 90 times. You wanna make sure that you leave a foot or so of yarn at the end. Um, but otherwise, feel free to just keep wrapping as long as you leave a foot of yarn for yourself to work with after you're done. So once you've gotten it to 90, wrap it a few more times just for good measure, and then you're gonna get ready to snip off the extra. So grab your scissors, snip, snip, snip. And now you're gonna carefully slide it off your hand making sure to keep your loops intact and gently place it down. Then you're going to cut off about 12 inches of yarn from the rest, lay that flat on your surface, lay your looped yarn on top, and you're gonna tie a knot to cinch the center of your yarn together. Try to get it as tight as you can. Um, and hold that knot while you do a double knot so that it doesn't come apart. Now it's time to grab your scissors again and you're gonna cut through all of the loops that you made and just carefully cut through them and after you're done, you're gonna go through and try to catch any that you missed. Once you've gone through and cut all the little stray loops, you're going to go uh, to start trimming your pom-pom and cut all the little extra long pieces to make it look even and pretty um, so that it won't look so scraggly. So this part's just kind of patient, uh, takes a lot of patience and time. So we'll skip ahead on here. Now that your pom-pom is all nice and pretty and even, you're going to uh, sweep away all your scraps and probably throw those in the trash can so your parents don't yell at you. And you're going to attach it to your bookmark. So you can use the cardstock bookmark that I gave you in your kit, or you can just grab any stiff um, piece of paper that you have available. Um, you can even cut up an old book cover if you have one that's falling apart to use. Um, whatever you want to be your, book, uh, your bookmark. Don't pull this too tight because you don't want to tear the bookmark, but do tie it securely with a double knot. Once you've tied your pom-pom securely to the bookmark, you can go ahead and trim off those edges. All right, your bookmark is finished. And if you'd like, you can use it to keep track of all the books that you read this year in 2021, which let's hope is a better year than 2020.